Hola! Annyeonghaseyo! Diegoet! Salut! This is Riki from Riki Like Magic. Today is the 9th of September, a Saturday, quarter past four. And Shibi says hi! Shibi says hi! So, based off of this title, I will be talking about how to deal with rejection. And the short answer is, I have no idea how to deal with rejection. Is this my first clickbait? Clickbait? I can do the YouTube. This could be my first clickbait video. <laughs> well, I'm got. I have no idea how to actually make you not feel, make one not feel rejected. But I would like to share some stuff that I do in order to help me with all of those the feelings, all of the feelings. Bearing in mind, this is for people who are more like me, who have quite um sensitive constitutions and have lots of feelings and find it difficult to bury those feelings. So, this week I had a day where I had many the thing come tumbling all over me. I had about three things in succession that just made me feel Ugh. Yeah, rejection, rejection, rejection. Not good enough, why me? All that jazz. Yeah, I wanted to share it because I'm totally, totally cool now, but that's because I'm a sucker for self-improvement and I wanted to actually deal with the stuff. So I wanted to share kind of how I, what I did when it happened. Tip number one, if at all possible, whatever plans you had for that day, clear your schedule, minimize the to-do list, do less and kind of insert things to do to make you feel better. It was a total habit of mine to become even more self-destructive because I believe it's self-destructive if you just continue like your life as if nothing is wrong. And if something went bad, I would just be like, I am fine, gonna continue. I keep going, keep going, keep going without actually doing nice things to make myself feel better. Then the spiral would go down, 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 down. That doesn't help anyone. So what I did was when all the things happened, I went, look at my to-do list, my to-do list, bye-bye. Had a cup of tea, watched my favorite TV show. But I mean, if you have the luxury to do that, go for it. And if you're stuck in an office, maybe only do the things that you have to do. Because for me, when I, when I feel this way, all of my energy is sapped right out of me. It's a full on problem. <laughs> you just feel really weak and Shite. <laughs> so why pretend that you don't feel bad and just do not lots of little things to make yourself feel better? Tip number one. Tip number two. Friends. Friends. Now, friends who are not going to pander to you. I immediately realized that I needed some rational thinkers around me because when you feel rejected you start making up all of these facts about yourself that isn't necessarily true and you just start like wondering about yourself as a person this is me anyway so i almost immediately was like hey this stuff happened am i mental what can you say to me because they're gonna look at it in a much more logical clear bigger picture kind of way rather than you in the tiny tiny keyhole going i am I'm this small and especially your friends aren't going to think that about you and they give you kind of a clearer picture I mean, I don't believe that things are entirely someone one person's fault I don't think blame ever lands a hundred percent on one person But it's good for you to go talk to people who can clarify some stuff and as well like when you feel Rejected there's a certain level of shame that comes with it as well and shame is poison shame is Ugh. Shame makes you do stupid things or makes you not do anything and then you just Devolve and implode and you don't talk about anything because you feel shame about it I would really recognize the shame that you feel and then Go say it to someone go say it to someone who you can entrust things you are ashamed about to number three when you are feeling better 
do things that make you feel powerful or in control or free. Like for example, I when I feel the way that I was feeling this week, I find it very difficult to be creative. I can't make anything. But dance really did help me because like say I have three dance pieces that I've made already, they're made. I love performing them so I literally just <laughs> dance to my favorite dance pieces in my room because I know I can do them and I know that they're made and I know that they're fun. They make me feel powerful. Do something that gives you a sense of yourself again. Then when you're feeling like super good and normal, practice not rejecting yourself. Like say if you're down here and things aren't so good, but then a thing happens and then you just disappear out of the view of the camera, you're so low. That is not conducive. I believe you need to be, when things are really good, you need to be making yourself feel better and better and better and better every single day. Your level of confidence and self-esteem is way up here. So when something bad happens, it just kind of goes rather than <laughs> I am sweating so much. I didn't realize it would be quite like intense to talk about. And number four, this is an option for anyone. This is something I'm going to do. You guys don't have to do it. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. I don't like being rejected and that holds me back. That is an obstacle in life for me and I don't like it. I don't like having obstacles in life. I would suggest to actively look for rejection. <laughs> You gotta do the thing and not realize that it's such a big deal and that your identity isn't defined by it. The last tip, tip number five, is one that I could make an entire video series about because it's something that I think is not encouraged in society in any way, shape or form. You need to acknowledge the pain that you feel. I'm not talking about wallowing. Wallowing is stupid and boring for the people around you. But I'm also not talking about going, everything is fine, everything is totally fine. Yes, uh, the thing that I love didn't happen. I didn't get it. Great, everything's fine. That's not healthy. I think acknowledging the pain that you feel is very, very important because otherwise you can't move on from the pain. People are afraid of pain. And that's why a lot of people don't do things because they're afraid of pain. They're afraid of feeling bad. They're afraid of feeling sad, angry, scared. So they don't do anything. And if you don't acknowledge that something crap happened, then how can you move on? Just like go, yeah, that was awful. Talk about it to yourself or someone else and then move on. Rather than going, turtle, no more emotions. Now I'll just live a monotonous life. Because if you're afraid to feel pain, then you don't give yourself the capacity to feel a lot of joy. And joy is fun. Joy is a main reason for living, no? Thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. It would be amazing to even hear your thoughts on rejection. If you enjoyed this video, you can like, you can subscribe, you can ring the little bell that gives you all the notifications. You can share it with your friends and you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Snapchat. You are who you choose to be and I choose not to reject myself. So cheesy. Shibby says bye.